So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to create a full landing page from scratch using our AI tools. So you can use any landing page builder with this, click funnels, lead pages, WordPress, raw HTML. I'm gonna be using lead pages today. That's what I'm somewhat familiar with, but really the main thing here is creating some really great copy to go on that landing page. So first thing to do is head over to the Rightsonic dashboard and then go ahead and find the landing pages tool. So it's gonna ask you a few different questions to get a good idea about your product or service. So let's say I'm gonna be creating a SaaS product that helps people with their SEO. So I'm gonna call it Keyword Fox. So up here, this is the name within your Rightsonic account. So this is purely for you to keep organized and it's um, completely optional to, to do that. So then the next step is to give the AI your product or service name. In this case, it's keyword fox. And then it's gonna ask you for a brief description. So this doesn't have to be overly copywritten. It's just letting the AI know the context, basically the gist of what your product or service actually does. So I'm gonna make up something here. This isn't a real product obviously, but Keyword box. Okay, so that's done. And then the next step is to put in a feature or benefit. And it's gonna ask for three different ones. So each one of these can be a feature or a benefit, um, but this again is giving it more context. Obviously we've put some of that in the description to begin with, but uh, it just helps it really understand the, the key features or benefits to hone in on. Okay, so I've got all the features or benefits, I've got the description, and obviously today I'm doing this in English. So the next step is to click generate landing pages. And this is going to take up to about a minute to come up with three different landing page variations. And this is really helpful because sometimes when I've done this before, there's parts of each landing page which I prefer over the other ones. So sometimes it's helpful to mix and match. Alternatively, what you can also do, um, especially if you're using a landing page builder which has split testing, is you can create multiple ver uh, variations of your landing pages um, and then you can test which one works best. So especially if you're doing paid traffic and you have a decent volume of people going through your landing page, then having different variations can be really helpful over the long term to get you much better results. So that's one of the things that these AI tools are really helpful for is getting you more variations to test more quickly. So as you can see, we have a landing page in front of us now. So um, Rightsonic has a built-in landing page template. So um, if I like this landing page, I can actually go ahead and download the HTML code for this. And then all I would need to do is make a few tweaks, like change the branding at the top here, change the social proof and screenshot and everything. And then there's a landing page that's ready to go. And I think this looks pretty good. So if you want to have more of a customized landing page, I said I was gonna show you the whole process of coming up with a landing page from scratch, which a lot of people have asked to see. So I'm gonna be taking this and actually building it in lead pages. I actually really like this first uh, landing page. So I would be happy to go with this one, but let's have a flick through and see if there's any uh, better parts from the other landing page. Cool, okay, so this is another good headline. Yeah. Okay, so obviously uh, that shouldn't have happened there. So sometimes you do have these parts where there's an obvious mistake or the AI hasn't found something, so do watch out for that. But again, that's why we give you multiple different variations. So if you don't like something, then you can pick one of the other options. Or like with most of the features within Rightsonic, anytime you're coming up with an AI generation, you can always just click regenerate and it will give you another set of options to choose from. So, so again, um, apart from the, the bit with the missing headline, uh, I really like this one. And the third one, let's take a look at this. 
My favorite is still the first one, but I like this last one as well. And there's definitely elements from the second one that I might pick and choose as well. So um, that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is download the text for this. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to copy and paste that into my landing page folder. The other option, obviously, is to save this within your Sonic account. Um, or you can, like I said, download the HTML code and then you can take this template that we have here and customize it, add in the screenshots and obviously make sure these, these links are correct and things like that. And you're ready to go. But like I said, I'm going to now take this over to lead pages and pick a template and start building. So here we go. Probably going to speed up sections of this so I don't bore you with just looking at my uh, face while I'm uh, moving stuff around on the screen. But the first step here is to create a new landing page. And obviously, this varies by landing page builder. But typically, you know, you're going to have these templates and the ability to customize once you have started with a template. So I'm going to try and find one which is for a software business. So here we've got this one. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to open up my text that I just downloaded from WriteSonic. Okay, so I've got my text up here and then I've got the landing page builder here and I'm gonna go through and show you how I would go ahead and customize it. Okay, so here we go. Obviously, there's some images to be added in, screenshots of the actual product, if this was a real product, and the logo up here needs to be created. But in terms of the layout, copy, I think this is pretty good. And this took about five minutes to get done. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And like I said before, if you are running, especially if you're running paid traffic to your landing page, then it's very easy to now, especially with a landing page builder, especially with a landing page builder like this, it's very easy to go ahead and do split tests. So I could take the other um, two versions of this, create those, and then run the split test and have the winner automatically decided for me. So I think this is pretty good. And as I said, the main thing with any digital marketing really is to test, test, test. Let the market decide what's working best. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please post in the Right Sonic Facebook group or message support. And thanks for watching this video.